What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and this episode of Jumps and Spots is brought to you guys by Mountain Dew. You can unlock custom in-game rewards for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare at FuelerForBattle.com, so make sure you guys check it out. But anyway, today, we are going to be taking a look at the map Green Bam, baby. This is definitely one of my favorite maps in the game. I've got a ton of great spots to share with you guys, so, uh, so let's get into it. Now, uh, starting off here, back in the bar, I think most of you guys will probably know what you can do in this room. You can hop up on top of this koi painting up here, which is good. There's a hard point beneath you and stuff like that, so you can use this to protect it. You can also hop over here to the edges, and there are these little ledges all the way around this room that you can use to kind of, you know, maneuver around. This thing here is great for kind of, you know, popping in and out and taking out enemies and stuff like that. Or if they're going to be coming through the doorway, sitting here waiting for them. So, so that can be pretty useful. Uh, and that's pretty much all you've got in this room. Now, uh, moving on over here. We're going to move around this way and kind of cover the entire map. Right here is a very, very good spot that I use quite a bit. So once you get in this spot, obviously you can kind of cover this side of the map and stuff. And that's pretty good. But also, you can come up here. You can peek around this to be able to take people out up on this flat top. As well as you can inch your way out and move up here. And you can kind of see this entire courtyard side of the map. And there's a B bomb site right here for search and destroy. So if you plant that bomb and then come back here, you have a perfect line of sight to be able to defend it. It's really, really good. So uh, that's, uh, that's pretty useful. Now, coming over here on this side of the map, these hedges, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, are extremely useful. They're all over the map. And what you do is just kind of get up next to them. You jump up, just inch yourself forward, and boom, you'll land on top of it. And check it out. You've got great cover right here. Only your head's going to be peeking out. You'll be able to, you know, protect this hard point. There's another bomb site right there, things like that. You can hop across and go like this. And there's quite a few other ones you can use. You can use this one. Uh, there's some really good ones over here in the middle side of the map. You guys will see if we jump up right here. Sometimes they're a little bit hard to get into, but you guys get the hang of it. You can see you can see the entire courtyard side of the map again. Over here, there's another one. If you hop up just like this, then boom, you can see this side of the map. You can see up into the, the top second story there. You can see the flat tops over there. There's you know, a million different ways you can use these things and hop up on all these little ledges. So, uh, so make sure you guys use that to your advantage. Now, anyway, moving on over here. There's a, a pretty good spot back here to call in killstreaks and stuff. Sometimes I'll go down here like this. This isn't too bad. Usually people won't see you down there. As well as you can lay down in this grass, which is really, really useful. Uh, and I use that in Infected sometimes as well. So uh, that's pretty good. Coming into here, I've got a really good spot for you guys. So oftentimes, like probably the most popular spot on the map is that flat top over there where we started out on. Uh, what you can do is you can either hop up on top of this table right here and crouch down. And you can get a good view of that flat top right there. Or if you just hop up on top of this black chair... Boom, look at that. You, got, you can see that entire flat top over there. You can kind of see people if they're up on these ledges, stuff like that. So uh, this is a pretty good spot that uh, nobody really expects to see you in. Now, moving on over here, coming into this, you know, kind of middle area. They've got one of these on each side of the map. Uh, one thing I want to tell you guys I use a lot is don't come up the stairs like this. Come up the stairs like this. A lot of people don't expect to do it. You take people by surprise. As well, you can kind of shoot through them like this, and, and it's really, really useful. So uh, this is the easy way that most people go. This is the unexpected way that you should be going. Now, uh, another thing that I like to do, so this window is really popular, and a lot of people will look here. If there are enemies out here on top of these buildings and stuff, they're going to be looking at this window. So never come up actually to the window, but rather what you can do is you can kind of look through the window from back here, and you're a little bit more covered, especially over here. You'll be able to look through and see the flat top. You can kind of watch people and see if there's people up there, and then pop out from behind the fish tank and take them out. So uh, that could be pretty good. Now, anyway, moving on over here to the other side of the map, we've got a couple of really good spots over here. This thing can be seen over, which is really good. So if there are enemies coming this way, hop up on this and boom, look at this. You can kind of watch them and see them as they're coming, which is, uh, is pretty useful. You can also hop down here like this. Uh, another good one is right here. You can actually hop up like this and boom. Again, you can kind of see as people are coming across this middle area, this one as well. Uh, over here, this big, long, kind of rectangular second story piece that has all the rocks and stuff, the rock garden, I think it's called, that goes along the side of the map. A lot of people are constantly up here, so if you can get from up there to down here really quickly, it's very useful. So on the bottom side, all you've got to do is just hop up on this railing, push yourself off, and go like that. Boom, look at that. You're up top. Really useful. You can do it from pretty much any position. To go down, it's a little bit tougher. You guys will see. If you like try to go like this, you can get it sometimes, but it's really, really tough, so you want to try to be careful. And easier one to do is if you're coming from this way you can see you've got this whole kind of like runway here to land on so you just kind of like run like that and then boom you're in here pretty easily so uh, that is uh, that's pretty good now 
Anyway, moving on this way, one of the last things I'm going to show you guys is just easy ways to get up on top of this thing. You know, this is uh, a super powerful position on the map. One of the ways a lot of people use is they hop up like this, and then you can just jump like that, which is pretty good, I guess. But there's some other ones that I use to just kind of speed up the process uh, whenever I need to. So one is right here. Actually, no, you don't. You skip doing on that one. You just kind of jump up like this. Boom. That's a quick way up there. Another quick one from this side is if you're coming through like this, you can just kind of double jump, double jump. Boom, you're up here again, and both those are pretty useful. Now, uh, finally, the last thing I want to show you guys, it's not the most useful thing in the world, but it's kind of fun, and you can use it in some situations, and that's these blossom trees. There's this one right here, which is the biggest one. There's that one, and then there's one all the way back there in the back. Right there, you can see there aren't many leaves on it. But um, anyway, what you can do is you can actually jump inside of these things, which, like I said, isn't all that useful, but it's kind of funny. I've actually gotten up here after planting the bomb and search and destroy and defended it from up here, which was, was you know, kind of humorous. But um, yeah, you can get into those. So keep that in mind in case the situation ever arises. But anyway, yeah, there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys learned something new here. Like I said, Green Band's one of my favorites, and I use a lot of these you know, every time I play it to, uh, to really have an advantage over enemies. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys later. Check out these two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. And peace out, guys.